Ladies and gentlemen, Top Rank Incorporated, your undisputed king of beers, Budweiser, the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino, and Paris, Las Vegas, is here to give you our four-round belt for the IBA four-round super heavyweight world championship. The three judges assigned scoring this bout on a 10-point must system will be Carol Castellano, Al Lefkowitz, and Art Lurie. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Jay Nady. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing bronze trimmed with white, and weighing in at 210 pounds. His professional record, 12 victories with 11 KOs. Five losses, and he comes to us from Ellisville, Mississippi. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the challenger, Ken Craven. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the red, white, and blue stars and bars, and weighing in at 320 pounds. His professional record, 46 victories with 35 knockouts. Only one loss with two draws from Jasper, Alabama. Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning and defending king of the four-rounders, Butter B. Do we have any questions? All right, it's a four-round fight. Obey my commands. Defend yourself at all times. Touch the left, let's go to work. The guy told us that he took this fight for $3,500 so he could tell his grandchildren he was on the undercard of a great historic bout. Let's see if he can do anything here to tell them more than that. <laughs> About the price of a ticket here, huh? Are you okay, Art? Really All nice right, ring the bell. Start guy, the fight. Craven. Had that official laminated pass around his neck yesterday that said, Participant, Deloia Trinidad. He said, I'm going to frame that. Keeps his left hand low. Hides it from Butterbean. That could be a problem for Butterbean being jab constant. Well, Craven yeah. said, I know what I have to do. I've got to move and stick my jab. I've got to stay involved in lateral movement. I've got to keep Butterbean from being able to come at me straight off. Butterbean would like for him to put his jab down and think, hey, you've done good. Now throw a right hand and he'll beat him to the punch every time. The one man who beat Butterbean rather easily in New York boxed and boxed and jabbed him to death. Won an easy decision. One thing you don't want to do is get into a slugging match with Butterbean. Raven with a little hunt and peck here in the first round. Butterbean looking for an opportunity but not yet able to get his feet set. Hard right hand by Raven as Butterbean leans in. The thing about throwing a left jab, three minutes, that's not easy. Butter Bean waits for you to throw the right hand so he can beat you to the shot. The problem for Craven will come when Butterbean lands. Craven's already been knocked out five times in his professional career, and he's never fought anybody who outweighed him by 110 pounds. So far in the first round, Raven's done a pretty good job of making Butterbean fight his fight. Butterbean is against the rope cut. His mouth is already open, Jim. He didn't have much time to train for this. Yep. Could tire quickly. Yep, and as he slows down, Butterbean presses in. Don't be grabbing now. Obviously, the Nevada State Athletic Commission wants to take no chances assigning their biggest referee to handle Butterbean. So Jay Nady again gets the call. This is Craven's avocation. His vocation is an insurance salesman. I wonder if he's taken out any extra insurance on himself. <laughs> Let him out of there. Step back. Thank you. Butterbean want to mix it up. It's frustrating when a guy just moves and box. right hand and Butterbean goes Craven with a nod and a smile and oh that hard right hand to the body by Butterbean had to hurt. But 
Bravo. Bravo. to stay just a little closer to the long arm opponent. Score that round for Craven, Harold. Please, do it for me. Well, we told you that uh, Butterbean earlier this year fought a known commodity, Peter McNeely, the man who fought Mike Tyson in 1995 when Tyson first came out of his long stint in prison. Tyson knocked McNeely out in one round. McNeely certainly hoped for better against Butterbean, but midway through the first, Butterbean began landing his big shots, and as Butterbean fired at will with round one coming to a close, referee Jay Nady stopped it at 2.59 of the first. McNeely said, hey, wait a minute. Why did he stop it at 2.59? I wasn't on the canvas. He was supposed to be. <laughs> Butterbean standing between rounds, George. Taking a page out of your book. Yep. No stool. Not easy to get off those stools at 320 pounds. Started to say you put that much weight down, it's pretty hard to get it up. You know, a lot of people say that that Bob Arum's crowning achievement in marketing a fighter is Oscar De La Hoya, which is hard to argue against. But you could you could give him some high marks for the way he's marketed Butterbean as well. He's done a great job. <laughs> it's a household word. Name. Not the back of the head. Everybody knows who he is. Round two becomes much more of a toe-to-toe -to -toe slugfest as Ken Craven. As Larry pointed out, didn't have a lot of time to train for the fight. Spent the last 12 days eating ice cream to try to get heavier. So it's no big surprise that he is much more stationary now and more of a target for Butterbean's big shots. And here comes the inevitable. Raven landing a couple of counters. Not behind the ribs. Butterbean pounding his rib cage. Nady says not behind the ribs. Oh, he goes to the side with his good left hook, Butterbean does. His technique is really improving on that left hook to the body. And now as Craven protects the rib cage, Butterbean begins to land upstairs. Good uppercut by Craven. He's got some professional skills. But he's just standing there. And that should produce more of this. Oh, but you got to run. Craven wobbling as he tries to get away. Craven's legs weakening. Butterbean applying the damage. All right, you guys got to work. And back in Ellisville, Mississippi, Ken Craven's friends right, and family are saying, stop it. And Jane 80 does. Another knockout victory for the Bean and a sorely disappointed Ken Craven. We'll get a look from the doctors. Ron Borges, one of the most respected and intelligent writers in the sport of boxing wrote a long and impassioned column in the Boston Globe begging Bob Arum to seek to match Butterbean against Mike Tyson. And Borges thinks somewhere down the road it might happen. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the particulars on this one. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee Jerry Nady steps in and calls a halt to this bout the official time. One minute, 55 seconds of round number two, the winner by TKO victory and still king of the four rounders, Butterbean! Ron Borges is a 